Well, it's that time of the year. It's autumn, a beautiful season to do landscape photography. I'm sure you have some autumn photos sitting in your hard drive. Today, I'm going to show you how I edit this photo from this to this in Capture One and Photoshop, coming up. Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Welcome to another video. If you are new to my channel, please check out the description for discounts, coupons, the gear I use, and the software I use. If you are interested in Capture One, please consider using code MING during checkout to support my channel. Now, let's jump into the video. All right, this is the photo we'll be looking at today. And the photo on the left side is the raw file straight off the camera. And then the photo on the right side is the edited photo. So let me go to the first raw file. And the first thing I do in Capture One is always to set the black point, midpoint, and the white point. I go to this levels tool, click on A for auto, and then it automatically sets your black point, midpoint, and the white point. And often I use this midpoint and move it towards the right hand side about negative. 0.1 to add a little bit overall contrast into this photo. And since I underexposed this photo to preserve highlight, so it looks a little bit dark. So I'm gonna go to the exposure tool and use the brightness slider. I'm gonna increase a lot of brightness. So the difference between brightness and exposure is brightness is uh, brightness targets the midtone in the photo, and exposure applies to all shadow, midtone, and highlight. And in this case, I'm gonna add saturation as well because the colors are beautiful. And in this case, I want to use the highlight slider to move all the way to the right hand side to pull the highlight down so, so we can see the blue color in the sky. And then we can use the shadow slider to boost up the shadow. All right, maybe like that. And in this case, I can enhance the color in this photo further by going to color balance tool. And I just choose master. And then I select a warmer tone in, the, in this color wheel. And then I can add this color globally to this photo. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and grab a radio mask. That's not radio mask. A new adjustment layer. There we go. A radio mask. And you can press M to see your mask. I'm going to use a very, very soft mask in this case. And I'm going to brighten the center of the photo. And I press M again to cancel the mask. Now I can increase the brightness a little bit or maybe exposure just a little bit. So now the center of the photo is brightened. Then I would like to go to select the background layer, go to vignetting tool. I can add a little bit of vignetting into the photo. So overall that gives the photo a little bit more 3D look. So I have done everything in Capture One and then the next step is to bring this photo to Photoshop. Right click on the photo thumbnail and go to edit with, go to Adobe Photoshop CC. And this is my setting. Format is TIFF, 16-bit, uncompressed. And I just use Adobe RGB and a 300 pixel per inch and no output sharpening. Now let's open this up in Photoshop. All right, now we are inside Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I usually add autumn effect for photos like this because autumn effect can make it a little bit dreamy. Let me show you what I mean by that. So first create a duplicate layer and then go to filter and go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. And I set the radius to be 20 pixels. Now, create a curve layer, and I'm gonna 
brighten the photo, especially the mid-tone and the highlight, and maybe not that much in the shadow, like that. All right. And then I'm gonna press Alt and click. So this layer only affects the layer right below it. So now I'm gonna change the opacity of this layer down to something like, for the demonstrating purpose, I'm gonna start with 30%. So you can see this is before and this is after. So apparently 30% is too strong, but I, I set it to be 30 just for, for you to see. Usually I go with something between 10 to 15%. All right, this is before, this is after. For this particular photo, I'm gonna grab the selection tool, the radio selection tool, I'm gonna draw a mask maybe maybe like here and please notice that the feather I set it to be 300 pixel and then I'm gonna press Control shift I to reverse the mask so in that case I can make a really soft mask and then I'm gonna pull the exposure down a little bit you know just add more vignetting to this photo all right now I'm gonna press Control alt shift e to merge all the visible layers into one so we can compare before and after. So this is the photo that we brought into Photoshop and this is the photo with Artin effect. All right, here we are. This is the photo from Photoshop and let's do the before and after again. Let me reset this photo and this is the photo from Photoshop. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you are the first time on my channel, please consider subscribing for more photography tutorials. Also, if you are interested in Capture One, please consider using code MING during checkout to support my channel. All right, guys, enjoy photography. Bye for now. <music>